patients who have atrial fibrillation, it's an electrical problem affecting the upper chambers of the heart. So when the heart is actually beating so rapidly, it's simply just fibrillating. So it's not pumping blood effectively. So that blood can coagulate, form blood clots in the left atrial appendage, and that blood clot can break loose and cause a stroke. Patients who have atrial fibrillation are about five times more likely than someone else to have a stroke. Statistically, about 5% of people who have atrial fibrillation will one day have a stroke. But these are very large numbers. We're talking about over 5 million people in the United States who have atrial fibrillation. And that number is expected to double within the next 10 to 20 years. We look at the age, whether you're diabetic or not, hypertension. So that's how we grade these people as to what risk they have of having a stroke. That's where Watchman steps in. Just think of um, a part of the heart called the left atrial appendage as the bat cave. And that's where all the bats hide, which are the blood clots, and they tend to fly out to your brain. So you want to basically uh, put a cap on that bat cave and cover it up. So many of our patients, because of bleeding, aren't able to take the blood thinner. And for them, the only way to really prevent stroke is with a device like the Watchman or occluding the left atrial appendage. This can be a life-saving device for uh, folks who have recurrent bleeding or at our high fall risk from blood thinners uh, if you are able to prevent them from having strokes. You go up a large vein in the groin all the way to the heart. There's a small divider between the left and the right side, so called the collecting chambers of the heart called atria and uh, we get across the septum from the right atrium to the left atrium with what we call as a uh, transeptal technique. And once we're in the left atrium, we find the left atrial appendage, which is pretty much on the side of that top chamber. And we get into that chamber and deploy this device. And it co gets covered over in about 45 days with a layer of skin and the appendage is completely closed off. So these people don't need blood thinners. Well, I think in terms of the person who's a candidate for the Watchman is a patient who is at high risk for stroke. These are patients who typically are over 65 or have other risks for having a stroke. And if they have either bleeding or even a risk of bleeding, I think it's not just patients with life-threatening bleeding. In fact, it's a larger population of patients who, by avoiding long-term blood thinners, we can reduce their risk of bleeding. And by reducing their risk of bleeding in the brain, we reduce their risk of cardiovascular mortality as well.